Foxes have dens. Birds have nests. But the Son of Man does not have a place even to lay his head. My dear friends, it is the 13th week in ordinary time, Monday reflection. If we don't have any ulterior motive in following the Lord, you'll be really blessed. Our life is full of our life is full of ulterior motives. Life is not straight, isn't it? In doing something, we have another, another, another motive in doing something. The sole, sole purpose is not that. It's a, it's a network of other motives. But then, Lord wants you to have solely, only Him as your target, as your motive, as your aim, as your goal, as your ambition. If you have other things in following the Lord, I mean, you will miss the point. God is never ready to compromise. God is never a person whom you can share your life. You, you can, a percentage of your life cannot be given to the Lord. If it is 100, it has to be 100%. There's no other way. That's exactly undivided nature. He wants your undivided self. Our, our, our lives are so divided. We have split personality disorders, even spiritually. So we, we go somewhere and our mind is somewhere else. And we do something with distractions. It's, it's, it's completely, in myself there is polarization. Mind is in another corner. Words are not connected to the mind, thought. And then the actions are not compatible with the words. So it's, 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 there's no dichotomy, there's no connection. God wants your undivided nature. That's exactly why the Lord is saying, when Jesus saw the crowd pressing around him, he gave orders to cross the other side of the lake. So people, for the sake of following, they were following. For the sake of going, they were going. And even they didn't know why they were following. Crowd is another attractive factor for the Lord. He wants you personally. Personally. That's important. So that's, that's why, that's where this particular person, a teacher of the law, Sadduzi, approached him and said, Master, I will follow you wherever you go. But then God sees beyond his actions. God sees beyond his words. God see, he sees the heart of the person. And he exactly knows this ulterior motive. The way Jesus answered people, the way Jesus did miracles, the popularity, popularity of the Lord attracts this particular person. So not Jesus, but then what Jesus had attracted them. That is our problem sometimes. We want not Jesus. Because of Jesus, the blessings that we get, because of Jesus, the healing that we get, because of Jesus, the miracles that we that could occur in my life. Not Jesus, but because of Him. So religion can be a cover-up, an easy cover-up in life. Because so-called religious people, they have a lot of ulterior motives within. They, they wear white clothes, they put on robes, they speak religious terms, they show them as if they are, they are the most holy person, holiest people in the world. And then God sees their heart. That's why he's saying, even foxes, they have dens. Birds have, their birds have nets. But the son of man does not have place to lay his head. There's no address for him. There's no permanent place. In a way he's saying, what you, what you are in search, you won't get. 
if you want a if you want a public popularity you are not going to get that because i am a nobody here i don't have address but then if you want a permanent permanent residence with me be ready to move on the other person wanted to follow him lord let disciple then other disciple another disciple said to him lord let me go and bury my father first but let jesus said to him follow me and let the dead bury the dead bury their dead i mean that's again he said your soul purpose should be jesus that's important we find when you completely blindly follow him when you give him the first place when you don't have any other ulterior motives the kind of relationship that they go kind of relationship abraham you know he left his father's house he he left his kith and kin his his uh, his homeland everything and followed the lord without any ulterior motive because he simply said to be on to be obedient and then you see the intimacy with the lord the lord is saying can i can i conceal from abraham what i am going to do the lord is sharing his secret with abraham what a kind what kind of a intimacy but dear friends when you leave the, your your stability here in on this world you are going to be completely perpetually stable with him the lord is saying can i can i conceal him can i can i say, have this secret of them then he decided to share not only share the way abraham compromised with him prayed because lot was there in sodom gomorrah so he was praying for sodom gomorrah not or not not because of the all the people the, those who fell into sin but then his 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 own kid his own relative lot and the family is there because they chose that land is it that's why the that's why abraham is bargaining with the lord and he's saying lord you know that i am very bold to speak like this to you my lord i am the only oh, i am i am i who am only dust and ashes but perhaps the number of good is 5 less than 50 he brings the good the number from 50 to 10 god still listens to him and of course the the dialogue ends when when he left him but then god spoke to send them angels to lot and asked them to leave the land however god saved lot what god answered abraham so when you when you don't have any ulterior motive in your life why you follow jesus because you want to be here why do i follow my jesus because i want this answer i want this prosperity i want this job we can see i i want this land i want this charming to be uh, taken out if you have of course we have needs there's no problem but then you should have your soul and soul goal as jesus you should not have any other alternative motive to you said no no way my dear friends so that's why lord is lord is completely breaking breaking this person putting this said to see into dust to lose they're saying i don't have any other place to lay my head are you still ready to follow me if you want popularity this is not the place sorry are you still do you still want to follow me and he's asking the same thing from you why do you follow him and you won't get what you want the ulterior motives won't be completed and if you follow him but then have him as the only motive in your life think about it and have a nice day may god bless you